Hi guys, how are you doing today? Welcome back to Random Lifestyle Vlog. If you're new here, my name is Paulina and this channel is all about beauty that includes skincare, makeup and fragrances. So judging by my kind of like bare face, you can probably guess easily that today is going to be a makeup video. So let me tell you this, after this advent calendar season, I have so many makeup products to try. Let me just show you. See, this is one box of products. And that's not even everything. I have one more box here with, um, I think this is, uh, these are products from um, Charlotte Tilbury and MAC Advent Calendar. So yeah, these are all the new makeup products from Advent Calendars only. I did not even include here products from like Christmas boxes or things like that. So this is just purely Advent Calendars. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pick uh, some uh, products uh, from my stash. I'm going to like test them out while like, you know, doing my makeup. I think I'll probably do like at least one more video like that. So if you would like me to test test um, any specific product from Advent Calendars, let me know which one that would be in the comment section down below and I'll try to include that in my next video. So first up, let's pick up some products for today's video. All right, so let me show you what I picked up. So the eyeshadow palette I'll be using is uh, Charlotte Tilbury and this is Pillow Talk Dreams Luxury Palette. And this one was in Asus. I've wanted to try this palette for a while now, so obviously this was a very easy first choice. So yeah, this is where we're going to start. Next up, we have this Ofra Blusher, which is like blush and bronzer in shade Unit from a Cohorted Beauty of Calendar. Then from Cold Beauty, this weirdly looking mascara. And this is surprisingly by Rideau Astronomical Mascara. Next up, we have this Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in shade Enlighten. And this one comes from Sephora After Advent Calendar. Then on my lips, I would use Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Mm, lipstick and th this one is in shade Sweet Talker and I found it in Boots Advent Calendar. If I decide I would prefer a little bit of gloss on my lips, I will top it up with uh, this Kylie Lip Gloss uh, in shade Crystal and this one comes from Harrods Advent Calendar. On my brows, I'm going to use this uh, Clear Brow Gloss by BBB London and this one was actually in two Advent Calendars, so I have two of those. Uh, one of them was in uh, the Vogue Advent Calendar and the other one was in uh, the latest new beauty one. I'm also going to use this eyeliner, uh, which I mean, this is something I've tried already. I've actually had this eyeliner before and I really loved it. This is by Rare Beauty. And this is Perfect Strokes eyeliner. And I'm only using this because uh, to be honest, like most of the products that you've seen, most of the products in my stash are actually lipsticks and mascaras. So it's not like I'm able to create multiple, like completely different looks with these products. I think there's only like maybe four eyeshadow palettes, like a couple of blushes, couple of highlighters. I think there's only one more bronze are in here so it's not like there are like lots and lots of products in each category so as i just mentioned we don't really have uh, like lots of eyeliners and that's why i'm actually using something i've tried already anyways this eyeliner was included in space and k advent calendar and also the Sephora 25 day advent calendar. And then lastly, I'm going to finish everything with this Hourglass Lighting Powder in shade Diffused Light. And this one comes from Harvey Nichols advent calendar. Okay guys, without further ado, let's start with this eyeshadow palette. This is Pillow Talk Dreams by Charlotte Tilbury. And I've heard so many good things about it. So let's do the quick swatches first. Okay, there you go. These are the swatches. I mean, the pigmentation of this palette is actually really lovely. Okay, let's try it out. So Charlotte Tilbury uh, eyeshadow quads are actually quite foolproof. This is a prime shade. Then we have enhanced shade over here. Here we have smoke and this is super pop. So I'm just going to start with obviously the prime shade all over my eyelid. Alright, that actually looks quite pretty. I was afraid that this might be a little bit too dark on me because you know these swatches are quite potent and this lightest shade here is very pigmented but no it actually works quite nice it is very kind of like blendable and that's why you probably can make it work even if you have a little bit like lighter skin tone okay time for our enhanced shade which is this one over here oh this is a really lovely pigmentation i mean look at that so i'm just applying this in my outer corner here and i'm just dragging this across my crease line here and i'm going to blend the edges here Okay, same thing on my other eye. So now I'm going to use a little bit like smaller brush and use uh, this uh, smoke shade to enhance this shade to build it up a little bit. As you can see, it actually applies really nicely. These colors go really well together. It seems like it's really easy to kind of make uh, this look work. Okay, I quite like it. I really like the pigmentation, the formula. It's not always that good. Like when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury quads, I find them to be a little bit uneven 
in terms of like quality some of them are amazing and some of them are just okay i think i actually tried one shelter brick one that was like below okay that was definitely um a little bit underwhelming but uh usually they're like between okay and really good i mean i guess for that price you would expect like a really good quality so this one luckily is there so i'm going to do my lower lash line with using these two shades i'm going to use the darker one in my outer corner here and i'm going to use this shade here kind of like finish of this look i'm going to blend it out okay so now it's time for our super pop which is this one here i'm going to apply this one with my finger and i'm going to apply it all over my eyelid okay a quick word of warning there is some serious fallout going on so i guess it's probably best to do your eyes first and then do your like face makeup i pretty much never do that so i'll just have to deal with that later on and then lastly i'm going to use this prime shade again uh, just to lighten my inner corner a little bit so i'm just going to apply it here okay do you know what i think i'm going to actually add a product i did not mention before i'm going to use this um charlotte tilbury rock and call um eye pencil in barbarella brown and i'm going to apply this on my lower lash line including my waterline so this is what it looks like. I mean, obviously, if you're using eyeliner in your waterline, it will always make your eyes look smaller. I'm fully aware of that, but it also makes your makeup look a little bit like edgier. And that's what I was going for here. So I'm going to do the same thing on my other eye now. By the way, I've tested these Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners multiple times. I actually really like them. They're definitely on a softer side, so they're great if you want to like smudge your line a little bit. Okay, so there's that. Uh, time for uh, the eyeliner, and this is Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes. So this is what it looks like, and this is such a good eyeliner. As I said, I've tried that before, and I really liked it. The fact that I actually have two of those after this open calendar season, I'm not mad at it at all. So this brush here is actually quite stiff, so I find it much easier to draw like a nice line with it. Okay, so this is one eye done. Okay, so this is the eyeliner done, and as I said before, I find this one very easy to work with. So time for mascara. I have no idea what was the idea behind it. Uh, I find it so weird. All the Radio makeup products, they look so like luxurious. And I don't know, they're just so like nicely made, and this... This looks like a part of like a toy or something. It's just green, plasticky, weirdly shaped. I honestly have no idea why this looks like that. But anyway, the mascara actually turned out to be really good. So let's try that out. So as you can see, it's slightly curved. And this is one of those like silicone brushes. Okay, so let's see. I'm very picky when it comes to my mascaras because my lashes are quite short and very straight on top of that. So I need my mascara to lift my lashes and to make them like more visible uh, so hopefully this one will do that and all that I always expect from my mascara is to see the difference before and after like I want to see the difference and trust me that's not always the case sometimes I apply my mascara and my eyes look like pretty much the same so I think it's quite visible you can definitely see the difference like this eye actually looks much more open now because you can see my lashes, you know. So, I mean, so far, so good. The mascara definitely passed the first test. We're going to see how it's going to look after, like, a couple of hours. But for now, I like it. So, let me just finish my other eye now. Okay, my eyes are pretty much done. All that's left to do is to use some brow product. And this is BBB London Clear Brow gloss and i haven't applied anything on my brows so that you can actually see how and if this actually works so let's try this out hmm. okay what do you think do you see the gloss i'm not really too sure about that i feel like what it did it kind of like cleared my brow of like any foundation on like powder residue and this brow actually looks a little bit like darker now but other than that i'm not really sure what it did it also doesn't really seem to have much of a hold i kind of like brushed my uh brows upwards and it doesn't really seem to like hold it so i'm just going to apply it on my other eyebrow as well i think this is potentially a nice product to give you this very natural to, to give your brows this very natural look but i wouldn't really expect anything crazy from that i'm not really sure about this gloss as well uh i read that this is supposed to give you a little bit of a gloss but um yeah i can't really can't really tell okay so let's move on to our face product so this is ofra blusher blush and bronzer 
this is what it looks like. So as you can see, we have this like a very warm toned bronzer here. And then we have this blush and you can actually use it separately as a bronzer and a blush or you can just mix those two colors together and then you have this kind of like a bronzing blush. I remember like swatching this product a couple of days ago and I really love the formula. I mean look at this pigmentation. So I'm not really sure what I should do but I think I'm going to use these colors separately. I am quite like pale today for whatever reason so I'm just going to uh, use this opportunity to apply like some bronzer. So let's start with that. That's actually really pretty, it does apply really nicely, uh, it does blend out really nicely as well. I'm going to apply some on my forehead. I didn't really do any contouring today because I wanted to show you this product as much as possible. So I'm going to use this um, bronzer to, you know, contour just a little bit. Normally I guess I would use something a little bit more cool toned for contouring, but as I said I'm just going to do a little bit and uh, that should just give me a little bit of this healthy glow hopefully. Okay, so that's actually really pretty. Even though this, we have this like really crazy pigmentation here, it does blend really, really nicely. So now time for our blush. Okay, I guess with the blush, you have to be a little bit more careful because it does pack a punch, but it does seem to blend out nicely as well. Uh, I would just say that maybe go a little bit more light-handed and then you can always add. I guess it's going to be easier than, you know, getting rid of like too much product. But I mean, even though I did apply a little bit too much, it kind of blended really nicely. So yeah, I like it. So yeah, I'm actually really happy with this product. Okay, so time for the highlighter. Rare Beauty Liquid Luminizer in shade Enlighten. I really hope this is going to work because I have like all powder products on my face and now I'm just going to use like a liquid highlighter. But to be honest, it's not like I had that much choice when picking my product. Also, this is something I really wanted to try because I heard good things. So first, let's swatch it. Okay, so there you go. This is obviously quite a heavy swatch. It's not going to look like that on my cheeks. I mean, hopefully. So I applied a bit on my hand. I'm going to use my brush and I'm going to apply it here. Okay, that's actually quite pretty. Okay, so this highlighter is a little bit more cool toned, but it does look very natural on my skin. Uh, it just like reflects the light. It's not too shiny, it's not too glowy, but it reflects light really nicely. So yeah, I like that. You could also apply this like directly on your face, but since I already used like a powdered uh, brush and a bronzer, I think it's just a safer way to do it. Just apply it on your hand and then use your brush to you know, apply where you want it. Yeah, this is actually really pretty. I really love how this reflects light. So the last thing to do is to apply some lipstick. So this is Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick uh, in shade Sweet Talker. And I kind of realize now uh, that this lipstick and I think this look in general doesn't really go that well with the jumper I'm wearing, but honestly, I was just so focused on like matching the makeup products together that I did not really think about it that much, but oh well. So this is our lipstick. I really love this shade. I think Huda Beauty is so good in like creating lipstick shades. I don't know, I love pretty much anything I've got from her. Also her lipstick smells so nice. So okay, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to let my lipstick uh, dry a little bit and in the meantime I'm going to finish off my look with this Hourglass uh, lighting powder. This one is in shade Diffused Light. And this is what it looks like. It might be a little bit too light for my skin tone but I think I can pull it off. Yeah, I can definitely pull it off. So again, this is one of those products I've actually tried before and I just love it. I think these finishing powders make uh, everything look very kind of like seamless um, and very natural as well. So I only applied this finishing powder on the right side of my face so that you can compare. As you can see, it's not something that's like very obviously visible, but there is this subtle difference. Like this product definitely blends everything so nicely. And as I said, this glow from within effect that you get from that, this is so pretty. So I'm just going to finish off the other side of my face as well. I also love the fact that these powders are not drying. I personally have like dry skin, but they just feel so nice uh, when applied. What actually feels dry now are my lips. This is one of those kind of like long lasting Huda Beauty lipsticks. It's also matte. And as much as I really love a nice matte lipstick, I find them quite uh, uncomfortable to wear usually and liquid matte lipsticks in particular. So I'm going to finish my makeup as I suspected with this clear 
uh, gloss by Kylie Jenner. So this is the one in shade Crystal. So let's do that. All right, it feels so much better already. Okay, guys, so this is my finished look for today. I'm really happy I finally managed to test some of uh, these makeup goodies from Advent Calendars. I think the products I picked up were actually pretty good. So as far as my new discoveries go, I think this palette is just as good as they say. Um, so many people actually rave about and I think this is definitely one of the best um, Charlotte Tilbury quotes. The By Rita Mascara, even though it looks a bit silly, uh, it was actually really good too. So I'm really happy with that. This bronzer and blush duo by Ofra is brilliant. I love it. And then the Rare Beauty highlighter looks really beautiful too. I still don't know what to think about this brow product. I mean, it's all right, but I'm not sure if it's that necessary, to be honest. Uh, when it comes to this Huda Beauty lipstick, I mean, the shade is really pretty and I do like those lipsticks, but I find this formula very drying. So it's not my favorite. And then lastly, we have this Kylie lip gloss, which I mean, it's a lip gloss. I don't really think there's like much to say about it. It doesn't really feel particularly sticky, which is good. But other than that, I'm not even sure what else to say about that. So there you go, guys. These are my thoughts about uh, this new makeup product. Have you tried any of these? If so, let me know your thoughts about them. Also, if there are products you've seen in uh, my advent calendars unboxings that you would like me to try out, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I will try to include them in my next video. Thank you very much for watching for more makeup-related contents, check those videos over here. I'm going to see you very soon. Take care. Bye.